see. Movie.com slash BS, right? I think that was it, right? Yeah. Always lead off with VIP. So Calendly is good because, and this is why I prefer Calendly. I know Calendly has a bunch of different competitors and there's a lot of, they all do well. I'm not saying pick one another. I'm just saying Calendly is powerful for this very reason. Watch this. First of all, you don't, you just pick the date, pick the time, just the design itself is really nice. But what I'm saying is, you see how it says 265 there? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's number one. That's the trickiest one thing. They know how to move forward that, you know, they go. And then they just, they agree. So that's the price. And then they know that they got to get something done. Right. But here's what happened with this woman, Belinda, her, she went to process this damn PayPal didn't work. Mm -hmm. Damn PayPal didn't work. Oh, she called me back. She yeah. called me back. Right. Um, can you, um, can you, um, is there any way I can process this payment credit card? I was like, oh, are you doing it from a cell phone? She said, no, I'm doing it from my laptop. Okay, well, oh, well, you know what, really? I don't want her to use PayPal. Uh, can you I can cash app, Venmo you? I'm like, you know what? This is actually a good lesson. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what I did was, if you notice, let me go back here. The event name says sign. I say when somebody calls you, they need an appointment now, they need an appointment, you know, like right, right now, or they can't pay for it, right? They have some other reason why, right? Sometimes people, I mean, 99% of people pay in advance. Sometimes people, they want to pay in advance, but they just, for some reason, technical, technical reason related, they can't do it. So I sent her this link. All right. She can still get on these things. She can still get onto the appointment, right? She fills it out, same way, same thing. Um, doesn't charge her though, right? But what I say is that I will accept, you know, same questions and stuff, but I will accept um, I will accept this payment in person, right? So you still have the appointment. The appointment is still set for Friday, right? One of the rare exceptions where you don't get paid in advance However, because you're working with an attorney, there is some credibility there, right? And you show up to the appointment, you get this done, and then you get paid in advance. I think it's safe to say that I'm going to get paid. Does anybody don't think I'm not going to get paid on that event? Yeah, with an attorney, you'll get paid. Yeah, probably get paid, right? Like 100%. But the point is, she got onto the schedule, all right? Anytime somebody calls you, whether they can't pay you, like I show you an, an attorney who can't pay you because not because she ain't got the cash, right? Or somebody calls you and they need something right now. Or if they need something, right? All right. Let's see. Or if somebody, they need something right now, right? You can book them same day appointments. Like a lot of these appointments were same day appointments. I can't. I did this one live. This one when we were doing the live, me and you, Tiger, and I was telling you, oh, he just booked me right now. Yeah. You remember that? This is the guy right here. Yeah. So I was driving. If you guys haven't seen that video, I was driving and I picked that one up and I just pulled over and just did that one. Right. So if somebody needs something right now, you got the opportunity to book them. If somebody needs something right now and they can't pay you, you still got the opportunity to book them, Belinda. If somebody yeah. needs you, right? If somebody wants, they know they need you, but they just got a, a question. You see that? Where's the complimentary call? You know, what is, what's interesting, Tech, is that um, many notaries have what I, I call a sales prevention center. Um, so if you do have that in your organization, fire it fire everybody in the sales prevention center um you you should be like a open you know 
ocean to take payments any which way. If somebody has a hiccup with PayPal, take it by Cash App. If they don't, if they don't like Cash App, take it by Venmo. If they don't have Venmo, take it by Stripe. They don't do Stripe, do Cash. Like you should always have an open uh, field to be able to take in payment. Because I know some people, they'll send an invoice through QuickBooks and it's like this whole process for them to just yeah. send a payment and the customers that hey, it was just too much forget about it i'll just find somebody else all right hey guys my name is ishmael i am the owner of mattering notary services um, i operate a fully mobile notary service here in massachusetts and i just wanted to take this time out to show my appreciation for tiger um, i met tiger less than a year ago and he's been absolutely amazing He's been supportive, he's been educating, he's been motivating. So for those of you who are watching this and you are contemplating whether or not you should be following this content or putting anything into um, into action, I highly recommend that you, I highly recommend his services, I highly recommend his books. I have one right here, Rise of the Smart Notary. It's an absolute must read for every new notary. Even if you've been in the notary industry for a while, there's so many things in here that you can learn. And what I like about it is how straightforward it is. Now, he's not going to tell you what you want to hear. He's not one of those guys. So I think that's one reason why I gravitate towards him. He's absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely highly recommend him. So if you guys have any questions, just reach out to him. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me as well. And let's get this show on the road. Wish you guys much success.